Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 148. Today is our lesson number 148, and today we will do we'll do the fourth lesson, fourth video in the series of four. Today we will do the fourth video in the series of four on the topic of radicals. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. This is the problem that I gave you yesterday on day number 147 as the homework. If you have not done this problem ahead of time, pause the video right now. I insist that you do the problem yourself first. Here are the answer choices. Once you have your own answer, once you have your own work done, then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Always make a habit of doing that even if I forget to remind you. Do you understand? I'm going to get out of your way now. I'm going to give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. In the event that you have trouble doing this problem, there is more of a reason to go back and watch the yesterday's video 147. Yesterday we did three baby version of this question, not the real version. This is the real version from the exam that, uh, that, will, that will likely to appear on the exam. Yesterday we did three baby versions. If you have trouble doing this thing, watch yesterday's videos first. Do you understand? Here we go. Alright, so first we have to worry about taking the square root of 0.000064. Well, we know we know the square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8. Somehow, if we can convert this into a 64, we are home free. How do we convert this into a 64? Well, 64. We need to move the decimal place here. We need we need to move the decimal place here. Decimal places right now here. We need to move it one, two, three, four, five, six places. We need to move the decimal place six places, which means if you were to take this quantity and multiply it by 10 raised to 6, top and bottom, if you were to multiply the top and bottom by 10 raised to 6, if you were to multiply the top and bottom by 10 raised to 6, now 0 0.000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.000064 times 10 raised to 6. The decimal goes all the way from here to here, it becomes 64 on the top. So we end up on the 64 on the top and we end up with the 10 raised to 6 at the bottom. And now we take a square root of it, which is very easy. Square root of 64, the square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of 10 raised to 6 is just 10 squared. So that part is done. That part is done. Now we take the cube root. Now we take the cube root of this quantity. If we're going to take a cube root here, we have to take a cube root here. It's getting too crowded. Let me move it a little bit. Which is also very straightforward because cube root of 8, we know 8 is, eight is simply 2 times 2 times 2. So cube root of 8 is going to be 2. And, oh, we got a problem. The square root of 10 raised to 6 square root, let's do it on the side here, the square root, square root of 10 raised to 6 is not, it's not 10 squared, the square root of 10 raised to 6 is going to be, is 10 to the third squared, 10, 10 raised to 6 is same as 10 to the third squared, and when we take, take the square root of it, it becomes 10 to the 3, I made a mistake there, that's not 10 squared, it's 10 cubed, because now we have to take a cube root of it. Is 10 cubed, and the square and the cube root and the cube root of 10 cubed is just 10. Cube root of 10 cubed is just 10, and now 2 raised to 10 is 0.2. The answer is 0.2. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye now.